So now that we have an upload service available, let's try and use it. And then, 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 then here we go. So we're going to say when we save the image, we actually want to upload the actual image instead of just changing the view. So what we're going to do here is we're going to call the upload file uh, profile image like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to pass in the local user because we're going to need his profile. This is something I set up. So it's just choices I made. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to upload the data as image. Um, and that's kind of the image that we show right now inside our small uh, image here inside the HTML. So it's kind of the data that we show inside this image right here, right? The data image that we just created earlier. So we want to upload that as well. Now, one thing I think would make sense is just to make at least an if statement saying if data is available, um, sorry, this data is available and uh, this data dot image is available, then we want to do it else. Let's just kind of, we can make a dialogue later, but right now we're just going to skip both of these and say you cannot even do a save now until the data is actually available. Well, let's keep this outside of it. There we go. So now we call the upload image, but there's something you have to know about an upload image as it is right now. This guy is actually not going to send the right thing. We actually need to split this up. And let me try and explain this to you. So I kind of found the splitter here uh, on, um, on, on the web. So I know it works. I've just Googled it a bit and found it. And what it's going to do is it's going to say, I'm going to split the image that I get up and find the first comma, only the first comma available. And I'm, then I'm going to grab the second value. So this is how an image would look. Now actually let me let me print it to you and explain what we want to get from an image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this guy right here and I'm going to console lock him. Console lock. There we go. Um, and then we'll say image before splits. There we go. I'll do a semicolon and then we'll make another console lock here while I'll do image after split just to show you the differences here because we want to actually only get the base 64 part of the image and we do not want to get all the other informations inside the image and that's actually all displayed before the comma let me show you what I mean here so going into my cost planner and um, going into the profile page I'm going to change the image select the file I'm going to decide center area for the file and press save now notice down here, if I scroll up, I get two, the first one is before split. Notice all of this information here, let me just zoom a bit. All of this information before the comma, that's actually image specific information. I would require that if I want to do this the right way, but now I'm satisfied with what we do right now. So I don't need this part, I only need everything after the comma, which is um, actually the real image. So all of this from after the comma, all the way down to this line right here, that's the actual image as base 64 encoded. So after I do this split, after I actually call it, notice that it starts with the actual start of the base 64 encoded image. So what this does is pretty much just remove everything before the comma, right? So that's gone now. And I actually now I called the upload service and if you noticed, it actually didn't explode. I actually got something running. So now the image should be up there. Now we need to actually also get it back down and show the real image. So we'll do that in the next lesson. See you next time. Have fun.